the future of the U.S. economy. With so much uncertainty in the air, it's natural, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time, gold. It's a biblical currency. And for centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, if you go to www.pastorpaulgold.com, that's www.pastorpaulgold.com, you can harness the power of precious metals to help protect your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or your 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Diversify your portfolio with tangible asset that has real value, gold. Setting up your gold IRA has never been easier. And at www.pastorpaulgold.com, they will help streamline the process with expert guidance. And in this election year, don't let the election volatility and the uncertainties of the Middle East and other factors keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments, they will give you up to 10 of these. Now this is unbelievable. You could get 10, if you qualify, 10 of these beautiful one ounce pure silver Donald coin, Donald Trump coin, one ounce pure silver. You could get 10 of these, or you could just get this 10 ounce silver bar of the American flag. All of it could be yours. Get one of these, be blessed. Just go to www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. You'll be glad you did. Wildfires in western Turkey have raged for a third consecutive day, fueled by strong winds and high temperatures. Over the past week, more than 130 fires have erupted across the country, with eight major blazes still active. Thousands of firefighters, supported by aircraft and vehicles, are battling the flames. Although thousands have been evacuated, no casualties have yet been reported. CBS News has reported. Authorities warn of a heightened wildfire risk due to ongoing weather conditions and have detained four individuals in connection with the fires. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events, historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end times. Is this the final meeting of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. A 22-year-old man has been arrested following a stabbing incident in Manchester that left a 43-year-old woman dead and two others, a 17-year-old girl and a 64-year-old man, seriously injured. The stabbings occurred late Sunday evening at a property in the Gorton area. Greater Manchester Police arrested the suspect on suspicion of murder, with the detectives believing he was known to the victims and that the incident was isolated, Breitbart News has reported. An investigation is underway, and local officers are conducting inquiries and increasing patrols in the area. The European Space Agency's JUICE mission is set to achieve two historic firsts as it embarks on its journey to study Jupiter's icy moons. Launched in April of 2023, the Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, or JUICE, will perform the first ever consecutive flybys of the Moon and Earth, along with the first double gravity assist maneuver on August 19th through the 20th. Now these maneuvers will use Earth's gravity to adjust JUICE's trajectory, setting it on course for a Venus flyby in August of 2025 
and ultimately reaching Jupiter in July of 2031. The mission is highly complex, and even a small error could jeopardize its success, CNN has reported. JUICE will capture images during the flybys, and some observers in Southeast Asia may be able to spot the spacecraft. Breaking news, everyone. Glad you're with me. Are you serious? Things are getting very, very dangerous in the Middle East. There is movement. There is things taking place as we speak. And uh, let me tell you all about it. First, I'm going to put a shout out real fast for everybody that's not saved. Every person on the planet, everyone that hears this video, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to consider doing it now. We are so close to the rapture. We've never been this close. I don't know the day or the hour that the Lord is coming, but the prophecies in the Bible, and we wrote about even here in our book, Revelation 9-11, tells us that we are on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. We're in the apocalyptic hour, really. Something biblical is definitely going on with the signs of the second coming, second coming of Christ. I want you to know right now that God loves you. And you can be saved and be filled with the joy and take away all that anxiety and all that uh, concern and, uh, and, and that feeling of not knowing where you're saved or lost. That can go away today. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him come into your heart. Repent of your sins and be born again. And get ready for the coming of the Lord. All right? All right.